Good afternoon. Welcome to the opening of the Ion Krakow Conference here in, in Krakow, Poland. And my name is Dan York. I'm with the Internet Society Deployment and Operationalization Team, and I'm part of the Deploy360 team that is bringing you this today. So I want to just mention a bit about um, what Deploy360 is all about before I bring up Marcin to talk about the uh, ISOC Poland view of things that are going on. We are going to have a series of questions and answers uh, periods throughout the day, and those questions will be brought to you by folks who, have, uh, Natalia here will be bringing the microphone around so people can be able to ask questions. We'll, we'll encourage you to do so. We will note too, this is being streamed live right now out across the internet through uh, YouTube and Google Plus uh, Hangouts on air. So just be aware when you are raising questions that this is going out live on the internet unfiltered, all of that, it's there. Uh, if you want to encourage people to come and take a look, you can go to our Deploy360 site. We have a link there for the webcast. You can also go to our Google Plus page or our YouTube channel as well, and we have some of those links up there. So Deploy360 was a program created about two years ago by the Internet Society to answer a basic fundamental challenge that the Internet Engineering Task Force, or the ITF, was creating all sorts of open standards and protocols, but they weren't being rapidly deployed. The protocols were out there, but they just weren't happening. They weren't being used, implemented. And we wanted to find out why. One of the things that we looked at was that in many cases, there just wasn't a clear solution or clear steps on how to get those out there. And in some cases, the business case was unclear. So we looked at this and said, well, how can we do this? So our solution of what we came up with, as you can see on the slide here, the Deploy360 site and, and program is a way to provide material to people to help them understand, to take away the pain of getting those protocols deployed. Our initial focus was on IPv6 and DNSSEC. We've added some additional material around routing, resiliency, and security. And that's what we'll be uh, talking about a little bit here as we go through this. So our, our goal is working with people who are out there using these protocols now, implementing these, gathering information from them, finding the tutorials that they've written, the documents they've written, and also publicizing those and creating new ones as we need to. There are four components to our Deploy360 program. One of them is our web portal, which is at internetsociety.org slash deploy360. And there we have all sorts of material, tutorials, videos, all sorts of different kinds of information that's out there. Along with that, we have social media. We're very active that way, getting the information out talking to people, interacting with people, finding out what they need to get IPv6 and DNSSEC and other technologies further deployed. We also speak frequently at, uh, speak at conferences all around the world. Um, some of those are network operator groups like this one's. Others are industry conferences, a wide range. And then we also have these ION conferences, such as the one that you're here at, at, in Krakow. We've had some recent ones in Singapore. We've had another one coming up in November in Toronto. Um, we had another one down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and, and many other different events like that. As I mentioned, we're very active on social media. You can follow us on Twitter or Facebook or Google Plus or YouTube or any of those. We also are very active in encouraging people to participate and help us out, whether it is helping us create content. If you would, we have roadmaps that show the kind of documents we want to add, and we encourage people to go and, and um, get involved and to look at that and, and create more documents for us. We're also looking for people to find out what, what's stopping you from deploying IPv6? What's stopping you from deploying DNSSEC? What's stopping you from making your routing infrastructure more secure? How can we help you? What can we do? And so we're looking for that feedback. As I mentioned earlier, this is the second of three ION conferences that we've had this year. The first one was in March in Singapore. Then we have this one here in Krakow, and then we have our uh, November session in Toronto, and you can find out more about that. Now, today, I'm just briefly starting, and then I'm going to turn it over to Marcin from the ISOC Poland chapter, who is going to talk about the local IT landscape here and his view around sort of the evolution of things that are going on. After that, we're going to have a panel where I'm going to be up here talking about DNSSEC, DNS security extensions. What does it mean? What does it do? How's it going to work? And we have some panelists who will be part of that, a couple of whom are here in the room now. And it should be a good, we're going to be a very highly interactive talking about this, trying to understand what's going on with that. After a break at 3.30, then we'll have Sander Steffen up here to talk about where are we with IPv6 and global deployment? What are we, what's happening with that? How can we you know, see what else is going on around that? At 
we're going to have a, another session around routing security and routing resiliency. We've got a great panel of folks who are going to come up and talk about that for a bit. We'll have another break at 5.05. At 5.25, we have my colleague Jan Zors will be up here to talk a bit about what we call the BCOP efforts or best current operational practices. How do we take information of, from the network operators around the world and make it and get that information into the hands of other network operators? How do we help learn from each other and how do we help facilitate that on a global scale so that the operators who learn really good information about, well, how to deploy IPv6, for instance, here in Poland can share that information with operators who might be in Latin America or might be in China or somewhere else. How do we share that information? We talk a, bit, a good bit about that. And then we'll finally, we'll end the day with a IPv6 panel that uh, Jan will be moderating again, where we'll have a number of different panelists who will be here talking about where is IPv6 at, what do we need to do to help move this further, and how can we get there. So that's the main points of the agenda. There is one other minor point, which is that we will have a raffle drawing at the end of the session for those who are here uh, and come through this session and stay here. At the end of the day, we will have a raffle drawing and more information will be coming out about that a little bit later. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming to our first ION event here in Krakow. And I would like to turn it over to Marcin.